There are a number of proteins which prevent breast cancer, which stop abnormal cells from dividing, which promote the repair of DNA, and these proteins are beneficial. It is only in women who have mutations in these proteins, where these proteins no longer work, that uh, cancer is promoted. BRCA1 and BRCA2 were identified as proteins important uh, for the suppression of tumors, especially involved in breast cancers. Butin BRCA1 alleles are associated with an increased risk of breast, cervical, uterine, prostate, and pancreatic cancers. Mutations in the BRCA1 gene can be associated with a lifetime risk of breast cancer as high as 85%. Those who carry a mutation for BRCA1 have a 65% chance of developing breast cancer by the age of 70 and a 39% chance of developing ovarian cancer as well. This is an incredibly beneficial protein and those who lack the ability to make this protein thus suffer an increased risk of cancer. BRCA1 enters the nucleus where it binds DNA and increases the production of certain genes such as antioxidants which protect, protect cells from reactive oxygen forms, immune proteins like tumor necrosis factor and interleukin, proteins which prevent cell division such as retinoblastoma, tumor suppressor proteins which stop cancerous growth like BRCA2, BARD, and P53, and then proteins which promote the repair of DNA such as P53, ATM, mismatch repair proteins, and others. A protein known as P53 is a tumor suppressor protein which is mutated in about half of all human cancers. This protein, probably more than any other, protects normal cells from cancer and its mutation therefore is a major predisposing factor to the development of cancer. Normal P53 blocks the progression of cells through the cell cycle and thus this allows damaged cells either to repair the cell damage or this protein P53 promotes apoptosis which is programmed cell death. There are mechanisms which allow abnormal cells to be destroyed and P53 is important in this. So while mutations in the genes P53, BRCA1, and BRCA2 do not technically cause breast cancer, they do prevent cells which have developed other abnormalities, other mutations, from stopping the cell cycle until this damage can be repaired, or by promoting the program cell death, which will destroy potentially cancerous cells. So while mutations in these tumor suppressor proteins do not technically cause cancer, they do prevent cells from stopping cancerous growth.